Monday morning it's quarter to 11 it's a bit of a late a late start to today's vlog um we've actually had like a really busy morning so Noah woke up at quarter to five this morning so I've been awake a long time it feels about three in the afternoon um and I had my little morning routine with him I've got him all ready because my mum's actually taken him out for the day which will be really nice for him and Jamie's actually taken Tilly to the vets this morning because she has had post-operation x-ray today so she's gone there this morning and i'll be picking her up probably about four or five this evening because she needs to be sedated for her x-ray so yeah i'm hoping that everything just goes really well and she like her legs are recovering she seems fine in herself had a luxating patella and basically she had a little bit of a skip every time she walked um and yeah she had both knees operated on so today is the day we find out if the operation was successful um i really hope it was i've been so excited to tell you about the most randomest thing that i did last week i went for my first float I went to a deprivation tank, a floating tank, and it was so spontaneous. So basically, Jamie had seen it advertised, I think it was on Marketplace in the morning, and he just booked me in. And he was like, I've booked you something for four o'clock today. This was last Thursday. He was like, I've booked you a deprivation tank. I was like, what? I just don't know what a deprivation tank is because I have no idea. It's basically a big tub. Um, and it has a lid and it's huge, like so much bigger than you would expect it to be. And it's full of Epsom salt. So when you lay in it, you literally just float. Essentially, it's a giant bath and it's got like mood lighting in there. Um, and yeah, I went, I went to one. It was in its private little room. So there's a little shower in there. I took some videos of the tank and some pictures so I'll put it on the screen now. Um, but it was so good. Like, when do you ever get the time to just lay in silence in a tank floating like never that that's not a normal thing so yeah you literally just book it and go float um and it's meant to be really good for like de-stressing help with anxiety it's also really good for like muscle tension and just helping you relax and it was so nice to just be able to switch off i find it so hard to switch off like in day-to-day -day life I don't know if it's becoming a mum, like I always feel like I've got so many tabs open in my mind <laughs> of things that I need to do and um, I don't know if it's because of that, I find it hard to switch off now but it was really, it was really nice, it was so relaxing um, and I'm definitely going to go again so yeah, this is your sign, I don't know if any of you guys need this sign, book yourself a deprivation tank, flotation, Thingy. It was very good, very relaxing. Anyway, just done my morning skincare, and as you can see, I've washed my hair. I'm really trying to take better, like I'm. I've got like a hair care routine now, which I've never really had. Um, but the postpartum hair hair loss life 
has got me it's here it's here in full force and i'm i'm balding i've lost so much hair and it's, it's starting to grow back which is a really good sign um, but when my hair's dry it looks like i have cut the sides it's like so spiky so yeah i'm really trying to take really good care of my hair get it in a really good condition um and potentially prevent any further hair loss i thought i had escaped the postpartum hair loss but then i read it tends to happen between like six and nine months post giving birth and i'm currently almost eight months post giving birth and it's here so to wash my hair as always i use the foxy locks repair and restore shampoo and conditioner these are infused with argan oil which is one of my favorites they smell so nice and these actually have an added perfume boost so when you wash your hair with these your hair will smell like perfumed for days. It's so nice. It basically smells like you've got perfume on your hair. And something else I love about this shampoo and conditioner as well is when I've used other shampoos and conditioners in the past, I can't stand it when my hair feels like it's got a residue on it. And it kind of feels like almost a little bit sticky and heavy. I like to have like quite volumized hair and Although the formula of the Foxy Lock Shampoo and Conditioner is really thick, it leaves your hair feeling really light, which I love. And yeah, smells amazing. I love the size of these bottles. These are 500ml bottles. They last a really long time and they also look really cute. It's something I have been using for the past, I'd say, month is the Argan Oil Hydrating Hair Mask, also from Foxy Locks. So I use this about two times a week in the shower or bath so i just pop it all over my hair leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and then something i do maybe like every two weeks it's not that often but i feel like it's made a big difference is i actually sleep in this so i absolutely drench my hair in it from root to tip and then i wear a shower cap to bed it's not the comfiest but i feel like it's really helped the strength of my hair i feel like it's a lot shinier then the last step to my hair care routine my foxy locks luxury hair oil you guys know i love this stuff so much this has the same scent as the shampoo and conditioner so it's a really nice product to use with those to enhance the scent so i like to use this it's very multi-purpose so i like to use this on damp hair and i'll just run it through my hair from the root all the way to the tip and this works really well as a detangler it also has heat protection in there as well and then you can use it on dry hair to add shine or you can use it as like an intense hair mask again so you can really add a lot of this to your hair and leave it overnight again which is a little bit less intense than the hair mask it's a little bit less wet that is my current hair care routine i will leave a direct link down below for foxy locks i also have a discount code as well which will get you 10 percent off anything on the website um and i've got a discount code for tape extensions as well so they're two different codes i'll pop them on screen um and like i said there'll be a direct link down below i am going to leave my hair to dry naturally today i try and do that a lot as well i try and use very little heat on my hair at the moment so i'm gonna leave it to dry i love having wet hair in the day it makes me feel so fresh um so yeah that is my skincare done my hair care done the last thing i'm gonna pop on is a new a new product of mine so my sister actually got me the elemis frangipani set for christmas this is one of my favorite scents it smells so nice and it had the frangipan e mist in there and you can't buy this anywhere like it's always sold out i don't know if it's actually discontinued which makes me really sad because it's oh, so nice and i'm just going to spritz a little bit of this on myself oh, the smell oh, is so nice Green smoothie. This may 
look like it tastes like earth. It does not. She's thick today. I picked up this from Tesco the other week, the Pret Green. This usually leaves me a lot of stuff in my teeth. So if I've just got like green teeth, let's just ignore that. Um, but the Sweet Green Smoothie Mix from Tesco, you can get these frozen ones. Wow, so nice. It has, let me pop you down there. Spinach, mango, kale, avocado, ginger, and lemon zest. And I mix it with apple juice. Anyway, I thought I'd share a very wholesome story with you guys and I hope it makes you as happy as it makes me every day. So, for the past few weeks, we have had a robin that comes to our garden every single day. And he like, he's always there in the morning and in the evening, not so much in the day. He like goes up and down, up and down outside Jamie's office because he literally came every single day and I was thinking he must have a nest there. We're calling him he, he could be a she. So obviously I Googled, why is there Robin in my garden every morning and evening? And it said that it may have a nest, but it also said that you mustn't like go and try and find the nest, like forage around where it is. Um, because if birds have a nest somewhere, and they, if, if like a scent of a person or like another animal or another bird is where its nest is, the bird can actually abandon their babies because they think there's a predator. Yeah, I went outside to investigate. Obviously I didn't go anywhere near where the robin is. I just like walked around the office, like just on the grass and I could hear chirping. So there's definitely a nest somewhere in our garden, a robin nest. How cute is that? Um, so, I got on the old Amazon Prime and I ordered Robin food and I ordered a Robin house in case any any other birds want to come and make a nest in our garden, they can feel free. And I also ordered some fat balls thinking that I just got a few and 50 turned up. I mean, what on earth am I going to do with 50 fat balls? That, like, that's a lot of fat balls. So, yeah, I'm hoping to make the garden into a bird sanctuary. Wow, how my life has changed <laughs> over the past year. Hobbies now include feeding birds. So where it comes every morning is this little dip you can see here. It goes like up and down, up and down, and then it goes behind the fence. But I literally walked just up this bit and I could hear chirping, so I think the nest might be around the back of the office. I just captured a little gray baby. Hey, a very big gray, ah, Teddy. <laughs> sometimes he lets me hug him, sometimes he doesn't. He always keeps me on my toes. I haven't shared this with you guys. I have mentioned it on Instagram, but I haven't, I haven't made it a thing. But I have wanted to do this for years. I created a cat account and I, I love it so much. It's actually my hobby. Um, so yeah, I know you guys love Tilly and Teddy. So if you want to see daily cat content, then I'll pop the Instagram on screen. Maybe I'll make an Instagram for my Robin. What should we call him? Let's call him Rodney. Rodney's such a cute name. Rodney the Robin and his nest of babies and the 50 fat balls that he's got to consume. <laughs> I thought I'd share that really cute little story with you. He's not there today. He was there this morning. He was there yesterday. And Jamie's actually put a box, like a Tupperware box out there with fat balls and seeds. Um, and he was actually in the box yesterday. I'll put a picture on screen. So, plan for now is I'm going to finish my smoothie. I am going to spend about an hour in my office. I've just got some bits of work that I really want to get done today. And then I'm going to pop over to Samuel's and Wurzel's, which are our local um, like farm shops. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice keeps going today. Wait, I'm going to pop over to the farm shops because this evening... I am gonna cook a soup. So I wanna get some nice fresh ingredients for that, some fresh vegetables. Oh, hello. Okay, this was actually gonna be a later on job, but I've decided to do this before I pop out because I know for a fact if I go out, by the time I get back, I would have lost motivation to do it. And I've been meaning to do this job for eight months. So, I need to go through Noah's wardrobe. It is 
overflowing with clothes he has grown out of so many of them there's lots of like christmas bits in there um and yeah i just really need to have like a big sort out i have done this once actually i was about a month old and we had all of his tiny baby clothes we had so many baby grows that he no longer fit into and we actually gave them to a charity the jamie found on facebook which is local to us i'll leave it linked down below it's really good so it's a lady that runs it and she takes in baby clothes and she makes little boxes um for any mums or babies in need of clothes so i thought that was really nice so i'll do that again this time i just hate doing this job so much and the, the reason is I don't mind the actual organising of it. It just makes me feel so sad. <laughs> like looking at his clothes and like realising how, like how much bigger he's got and how much he changes every day is so heartbreaking. I know it's like such a cliche thing to say. Like I, f I feel like before I had a baby, I never really understood it as much as i do now like they just grow so quickly i can't believe he is almost eight months old he's gonna be a year old in may like where's time going and i think the first year as well they change so much and there's so many firsts and so many milestones and it just makes me really sad so i've really been putting off this job of just going through noah's wardrobe because i know there's some really cute baby clothes in there that i don't even want to see because it makes me feel sad so yeah that is something we're going to do today because he is now in 9 to 12 month year old clothes he's a long baby so the 6 to 9s are too short for him now before we tackle the wardrobe i want to show you a really cute delivery i just got so i'm gonna make noah a easter box for easter obviously like christmas eve box vibes but an easter box and i've bought some really cute bits for it um i will show you guys nearer to the time if you'd like to see what i've put in his easter box but i've collected loads of nice bits from etsy and yeah i just thought it would be a really special thing to do for his first easter and i got this box it's a personalized peter rabbit box i thought it was so cute a special easter delivery for noah and peter's on there and i'm gonna fill it with lots of bunny related things i've got like a big big cuddly bunny um i've got a little bunny teether got some little um you know like the reindeer um food that you get at christmas to sprinkle in the garden i got a uh, easter rabbit version of that i got this little easter egg rabbit like chocolate holder that you put a kinder egg in which i thought would be really cute um and i'm going to collect some other bits too so i'll show you guys what i put in his easter box nearer the time but i thought this could be a nice little tradition that we do each year and then when he's obviously a little bit older he can have his little collection of easter eggs in here which i thought would be cute okay this is what we're starting with <laughs> As you can see, there are a lot of clothes in here. I need to go through all of these. Oh no, it's going to make me feel so sad. All of these little clothes at the top. I've got a horrible feeling a lot of these are not going to fit anymore. Um, but they're going to be going to a good home, so it's fine. That's what I, I need to remember. And then on in the drawers, I need to sort all of this out. So I've just got some spare nappies there um all of these bits need to be put away i've got some christmas bits grows that currently fit here so i need to sort out all of those bits and then in this one we've just got sleep suits and trousers which i also need to go through and then in here we've got blankets and muzzies and also sleep bags that Noah doesn't use so these can go to a new home as well actually um Noah doesn't actually sleep in a sleep bag he has a let me show you he has this is what he currently sleeps in pop these here he sleeps in this little suit it's called an ergo pouch and it's 2.5 tog so the same as the winter sleeping bags but as you can see it's got arms and legs Noah's such a fidgety baby when he sleeps like he likes to roll over he likes to lay in loads of different positions and with the bags I found it actually kept waking him up because he couldn't roll so this works really well we've got a few of these and on the arms you've got the little mittens that you can have and then obviously at the feet I like this one because it's got turnover really with these grows there are no feet so i really like this one i'll link this one down below because i found it really hard actually 
to find some like sleeping grows. Why are you in the wardrobe? He's got an obsession with wardrobes. He just always wants to be in a wardrobe. If even mine or Jamie's wardrobe is open for like one second. <laughs> you're just in there, you're so fluffy. Look, you can sit on the chair. my favourite outfits ever. It's the dungarees, they're just so cute and tiny. How does he not fit in this anymore? Noah, stop getting so big. Oh, it's the little pockets, oh it's just so cute. Part of me wants to just keep it in the wardrobe. I don't feel like I'm ready to part with this yet. Maybe I'll just, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. I'm still quoting The Grinch and it's the end of January. I'm gonna keep it in here for now. And then when I'm in a ruthless mood, maybe I'll just keep it. I'm a memory forever. Okay, we have made progress. That was a really hard job. I just wanted to keep everything. So this huge pile of clothes here, are things that don't fit Noah anymore. I need to go through and decide if I want to keep for baby number two or I want to give away. Because there's obviously some really special bits in here that I would really like to keep. Um, so yeah, I need to do that, which is <laughs> going to be a hard task. And then I've got a few little bits over here that just need hanging up um, that didn't have any room to be hung up. So I can hang those up and then sort through this and decide what we're keeping and what we are giving away. And then some of the new grows that I got, I just got all of these from H&M because it's one of the only places I found that do zips. Noah is way too fidgety now for poppers and oh, the zips are just so much easier for obviously nappy changes and just general changing. So I got lots of packs of these. I got some with feet. You get them usually in packs of three and they're really nice from H&M. They last a really long time and they wash really well. And then I also got some, sorry, these are a little bit all over the place, with out feet, because I love having his little feet out. <laughs> they come in packs of three like this. Little hippo one, and then two coloured ones at the back. Noah's wardrobe is complete. I feel so good now that's done. Every time I was going in there, I was like, oh, I need to do this. And it was playing, my, playing on my mind every day. Um, but it's one of those jobs, like, I think because I have so much less time these days, I always prioritise things. that, And I, I always see things like Noah's wardrobe as like a really low priority thing or like organising my wardrobe or like, general home organization i always feel like is a really low priority thing i think i need to start prioritizing home organizing a lot because when our home is organized and tidy i just feel like my mind feels so much better i feel like i can think better um when the house is a mess i just i can't think just cannot think so completely forgot to show you guys a huge a huge it's not even huge why am i saying huge <laughs> an update a cupboard update how interesting i know my junk cupboard that jamie always moaned about and every time it was opened you'd just get god knows what falling out at you it's been organized well it's not been organized but it's on its way let me show you so in between christmas and new year jamie randomly said one day shall i put shelves in the the dumping ground cupboard and i was like yes that's what it needs because before it had it was just a cupboard. I mean, what are you meant to do with just a cupboard? Like, the only thing you can actually do is stack upon stack upon stack. And that's what it's for. So, he made some shelves. You know how nice it is to open this and the contents not fall on me? <laughs> Ta-da! It's not the most organised right now. 
um, but it will be. I'm going to think up some really nice organisation for this cupboard. We didn't bother painting these, I just thought it was a bit pointless because it's inside a cupboard. Like, if, if you could see, we obviously would have painted them, but Jamie did ask if I wanted them painted, but to be honest, I just wanted them in there ASAP. So, currently we've just got a few bits and bobs down here, all of my camera bits, tripods and stuff, towels, toilet rolls, um, pregnancy pillow and like random bits. I've got like a basket of flannels here and then other bedding. So over the next few weeks, I'm gonna plan out some really nice like home organization storage and I'll share that with you guys. But yeah, looking much better, much better than it was before. I am now back home, just made myself a cup of tea. I got everything that I needed to get. I love going to the farm shop, it's just such a happy place. I feel like the atmosphere in a farm shop is just happy. One of my biggest dreams in life is to have a farm <laughs> and a farm shop and alpacas. When I watch Mrs. Hinch's story of her alpacas, I just, I fall in love with them more and more every time. I just think it would be so happy. I'd love to be around all the animals. I'd love to have a cute little farm shop that sells like homemade cakes and afternoon tea. If, if I ever achieve that dream and I have my own farm shop, you will all get an invite and you'll have to come on down and try all my fresh produce and feed the baby lambs. Um, and pick up some eggs from the chickens and take them home and pet the alpacas. Oh, doesn't that just sound dreamy? I picked up everything I needed from the farm shop. I got some onions, some carrots, some celery, some big old sweet potatoes. These are hard to come by these days. Like in the supermarkets, the sweet potatoes are like this big. And when I have a jacket potato, I like to have a big old potato because they shrink quite a lot when they cook. So I picked up some of those, which we're gonna have for dinner tomorrow, I think. So, soup that I'm gonna make is a lemon chicken soup. I found a really nice recipe um, and it looks really easy. And I was thinking I could make that tonight, have that for dinner tonight, and then I could keep it in the fridge for lunches. But it's currently half two and I'm actually gonna get started on it now because I'm picking Tilly up at half three and then Noah's gonna be home about four-ish. So I thought if I get this done now, whilst I've got a little bit of time, then tonight, once Noah goes to bed, our dinner's all ready. I love that. I love having like slow cooker dinners. Um, I just, I love the feeling of like knowing that dinner's all done. Actually in the middle of sleep training Noah. Um, so at his bedtime, like his wind down routine is a little bit longer at the moment. So it takes up a lot of the evening. So I feel like it really helps to have a meal already. I wanted to ask you guys if, you wanted to see like a a day in my life as a mum vlog because I tend to spend the day with you guys on a Monday obviously when my mum has Noah because I feel like we can do other stuff whereas every other day is just very full on looking after a little human um so I wondered if you guys would like me to pick up the camera on one of those days and literally just vlog like Noah's little routines um, and like what food he's eating. I understand it's not a video for everyone, but if you would like to see that, then I can film that next week um, and I can do like a, like our morning routine together, our kind of like what we get up to in the day and our night routine. So let me know if that is something you'd like to see. I won't be offended if not, it's just an idea that I thought might be nice. Um, but yeah, I am gonna get on with my soup. A few other things I picked up from the farm shop, which I thought looked nice, were these little, um, a potato seasoning, thought I could try that out, and a spicy salt and pepper chicken little flavour pouch thingy. I love these. I think they're just nice to have something different. And I also got some lime and chilli dressing, and it says that it's great for stir fry. We have quite a lot of stir fries, so I thought this could be a new flavour for us to try. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
so I've just added all of the veggies to the pan. I popped some olive oil in. We've got some carrots, celery, onions, three garlic cloves, some salt, pepper, and then two chicken breasts. And then once these are cooked, I'm just gonna keep turning them like on the bottom of the pan. Once these are cooked, I'm gonna add juice of two lemons. And then this is one chicken stock cube and one vegetable stock cube. Soup is cooking away. I'm going to leave this on a really low heat whilst I pop out to pick Tilly up from the vets. But we just have the vegetables in here, the chicken breast, the lemon juice, and the chicken stock. And then when we get back, we're gonna add some herbs um, and also temper some eggs and add some rice just before serving. So we'll finish this off when we get home a little later. Who's home? <laughs> He's just seen Tilly, who is also home. You coming to say hi to Tilly? <laughs> Gobbling down her food, she must be absolutely starving. Just deciding which bowl she wants to eat from. They're both exactly the same. Oh, oh dear. Now, uh, that food's not for you, my love. No, 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 no. I wondered how long it would be until Noah developed an obsession with the cat bowls. And that time has come. Every time he's on the floor in the kitchen, because he's loving being on the hard floor at the moment, I think he likes the noise of like his hands and feet crawling on the floor. Um, and every time he's in here, the cat bowls have to go up. These x-rays were all good. Such great news. Her legs are healing nicely, which means she should be fully recovered in the next few weeks. She has still got to have some crate rest. Um, but her left leg, which was the bad leg, has completely healed. And the right leg is nearly there, which is just really good news for today. So she is on the mend. Oh, ah. I'm just about to get Noah some dinner and then we're gonna start our wind down routine. So we probably have a little bit of a play because it is currently quarter past four. But yeah, let's get you some dinner, mister. Just desperately want the camera, don't you? Yep. Who's that little boy with his teeth? Silly is where she belongs at her tap. So it's time to continue with my soup. I haven't really got too much to do and then we can eat and I'm gonna go straight to bed. I'm so tired this evening, like my eyes are burnt. Teddy's now on his back like this. Chicken please. So I haven't done anything to the soup from what I showed you earlier. It's literally just been on the hob on a really low heat for the past four hours. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. Mmm, it's very zesty. That's so nice. My goodness, Teddy looks hilarious. I have to show you. I think someone wants some chicken. <laughs> this is how he always lays whenever I'm cooking anything. Do you want some chicken, sir? Is that what you want? <laughs> my feet were here and he was just like rubbing up against my feet on his back. Teddy, you're hilarious. Meanwhile, over here... We've got Tilly, like this, under the tap. Wow. Oh my goodness, this is one of my favorite things ever. Just the mouth open. <laughs> that looks so funny. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, she's got some skill. <laughs> That's one way to drink water. There is a bowl literally right there. Meanwhile, Teddy is still laying on his back, trying to look all pretty for some chicken hay. Is that what you want? You want to be a chicken? Oh, long boy. You've got long arms and long body and lovely little silver paws. Oh, he's very beautiful. He's very beautiful. I'm about to temper some eggs. Temper some eggs, is that the right 
right thing to say, tempered eggs. I've never done this before. Um, and I've been watching videos on YouTube of how to temper eggs and apparently they can be messed up quite easily. But if you do it right, it makes your soup really creamy. So you need three eggs, which I'm just cracking in a bowl. And then you need to gradually add warm, whatever warm like water using. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the soup gradually into the eggs. I don't really know why you've got to do it like that. That's what YouTube told me to do. And I'm really hoping this doesn't mess up my soup. <laughs> so I'm just whisking up my eggs and then I'm gonna get a big serving spoon and I'm just gonna add like little bits of the soup into the eggs and apparently it's not meant to curdle so that's how we know if it's going wrong. Apparently it's something to do with getting the protein in the egg used to the warm. Don't quote me on that. That could be, I could have, com I could have completely made that up in my head. Jamie, you've brought a moth in with you. It's like buzzing all over the place. Hope it doesn't go in my eggs. I brought it some extra spice for your omelette. I'm not making an omelette, this is for the soup. See the moment of truth? Mm -hmm. Me adding the eggs to the soup. If it curdles, the soup's buggered basically. Oh, is that, is that a thing? Uh, yeah, it can curdle, but it shouldn't. Fingers crossed. How, how, could, it, how could it, but it shouldn't, how does that work? Because you have to add like, you add water to the eggs gradually so it gets used to the hot. Doesn't it all like stick together? Yeah, you know that scrambled eggs goes like all together. I guess if you just put it straight in the soup, it would go scrambled like that. Scrambled eggs? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Mm. You want Yes. Mmm. You like it? Yeah, it's good. It's not finished yet, I've got to add rice and stuff. Oh, this is Gemma's favourite thing to do. And uh, don't close that lid. <laughs> <laughs> Who else out. does this? When I've used an egg, I put the shell back in there. Why wouldn't why wouldn't you do that? What why would you do that? Because it's just convenient. Like they're just in there now. Because yeah, I don't they should just go in the bin. Yeah, but I don't usually have a bin to hand and like I don't want to put them on the worktop because all so of the So then where does this go? In the cupboard. <laughs> so like old eggshells. Yeah, it's fine, it's only a shell. Directly into the cupboard. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only person that does that. Is that not a normal thing to do? I think so. Nice. Do you guys do that or is that just me? How the soup turned out it has gone a little bit thicker than i was expecting but i think that might be because i added a little bit too much rice um but it still looks really yummy i just added some more dill on top and a slice of lemon and some creme fraiche getting into bed is honestly just my favorite thing ever it's what, what time is it i feel like it's so early what time is it it's half seven and I could go to sleep. I'm so tired. I still need to get ready for bed. I need to brush my teeth, wash my face, get changed. But I came in the bedroom and I just couldn't resist. I just had to get in. So what I'm going to do, catch up on last night's Love Island. Are you guys watching Love Island this year? I am really enjoying it. I feel like it's not even so much that it's Love Island. It's having something... I like the feeling of having something to watch every day, I like having something to catch up on every day and I like the feeling as well that everyone's watching it together. I don't know, I think it just feels nice. Soup was delish by the way, we'll definitely make that again. I think next time I'll do quite a few things differently so next time I make the soup I'll film a little recipe reel of the things I'd change because I feel like ours ended up too thick and too creamy. So I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. Yeah, thank you all so much for spending the day with me. 
my voice is just deteriorating i will catch up with you all next week i hope you all have a lovely week lovely weekend whenever you're watching this and i will see you next sunday bye bye <clears throat> let's try that again <clears throat> bye bye from a non-croaky gemma bye, -bye.